to our video on DevOps interview questions and answers. Today, we'll be diving into some of the key concepts and topics that are commonly discussed in DevOps interviews. Let's get started. Want to be fully prepared for your DevOps interview? DevOps roles require a mix of technical skills, collaboration, and problem solving. We've compiled critical DevOps interview questions and answers to help you ace your interview. This guide will help you make a strong impression and showcase your expertise in this field. This guide also contains wrong answers and some silly mistakes for pointing out. Questions 1. What is DevOps and why is it important? Correct answer is DevOps combines software development and IT operations. Its goal is to shorten the development lifecycle and ensure high software quality. DevOps enables collaboration, automates processes, and improves software delivery. Wrong mistake, DevOps emphasizes automation, not manual processes. Questions 2. What are the key components of a CI slash CD pipeline? Correct answer is key CI slash CD pipeline components are including source code repository, code storage, and version control, e.g. Git. Tools such as Jenkins, CircleCI, or Travis CI automate the build process. Testing frameworks validate code automatically. Repository for build artifacts, e.g. Nexus, Artifactory. Tools like Ansible, Chef, or Kubernetes automate deployments. Tools like Prometheus, Grafana, ELK stack for monitoring and logs analysis. Don't do the mistake because, if you say code editor, while important for writing code, it is not a component of a CI slash CD pipeline. Question three is what is infrastructure as code, IAC, and how does it benefit DevOps? Correct answer is infrastructure as code, IAC, manages computing infrastructure through definition files. It benefits DevOps through version control, scalability, consistency, reduced errors, and faster deployment. Sometimes people make the mistake, IAC involves using code to automate and manage infrastructure, not manual configuration. Now question four, what are some common tools used in DevOps? Correct answer, common DevOps tools are including version control, Git, SVNCI slash CD, Jenkins, Travis CI, Circle CI configuration management, Ansible, Chef, puppet containerization, Docker orchestration, Kubernetes, Docker Swarm Monitoring, Prometheus, Nageos, Grafana Logging, ELK Stack Elasticsearch, Log Stash, Kibana. Remember, DevOps relies on specialized tools for automation, integration, configuration management, and monitoring. Question 5 is, how do containers differ from virtual machines, VMs? Correct answer and accepted answer, containers and VMs enable multiple isolated environments on one physical host, but their architecture differs. Containers use the host OS kernel, isolating applications and improving efficiency. VMs run a full OS on a hypervisor, making them resource intensive, but offering stronger isolation. Remember main thing, containers do not require a full operating system with a separate kernel, they share the host OS kernel, making them much more lightweight compared to VMs. Containers consume fewer resources because they do not require a full OS stack, unlike VMs, which run a full OS on top of a hypervisor. Now question point six is, what is the role of a configuration management tool in DevOps? Correct answer, configuration management tools automate server and software setup and management. They ensure consistency, reduce errors, and enable automated scaling. Ansible, Puppet, and Chef are popular infrastructure management tools. Wrong and mistake. A configuration management tool in DevOps is used primarily to monitor network traffic and secure communications between different servers. The tool also plays a role in managing software licenses and ensuring compliance with industry standards. This is absolutely wrong answer. Question point seven is, explain the concept of continuous integration, CI. Correct and acceptable answer is, CI involves automatically integrating code changes multiple times a day. Automated build and test processes verify each integration, detecting issues early and improving code quality while reducing integration problems. Wrong, 
CI is used mainly to coordinate meeting schedules among team members and doesn't involve any automated testing or frequent code integration. This is a wrong answer. Now question point eight is, what is a microservices architecture and how does it relate to DevOps? Correct answer, microservices architecture uses small, independent services that communicate over APIs. Each service has a distinct function and can be developed, deployed, and scaled separately. DevOps practices enhance microservices by enabling continuous deployment, automated testing, and rapid scaling, allowing effective management and deployment. Always remember, microservices architecture involves breaking down an application into small, independent services, not a single, large monolithic code base. This is a wrong answer because microservices architecture involves breaking down an application into small, independent services, not a single, large monolithic code base. Question point nine is, how do you ensure security in a DevOps environment? Correct answer, DevSECOps integrates security practices throughout the DevOps lifecycle. Key practices are including automated security testing, tools that scan for vulnerabilities during CI slash CD processes. IAC security, securing and version controlling configuration files, tools used for continuous monitoring of security breaches and misconfigurations. Users and systems should have minimal permissions. Wrong answer and do not mistake, to ensure security in a DevOps environment, simply focus on creating complex passwords for all accounts and change them regularly. It's also important to manually inspect code for security issues only after deployment. Last question point 10, what challenges have you faced while implementing DevOps in a previous role and how did you overcome them? Correct and accepted answer, common challenges in DevOps include resistance to change, lack of collaboration and integration issues with legacy systems. To conquer these challenges, I prioritized fostering collaboration through consistent communication and shared objectives. I automated processes and trained teams on new tools. Containerization helped transition legacy systems to a modern infrastructure setup. Wrong. One challenge I faced while implementing DevOps was that the entire team refused to use new tools and practices. To overcome this, I decided to abandon the DevOps initiative and revert to our old manual processes. Remember, this is absolutely wrong answer. Prepare for tough DevOps support engineer interview questions with this video guide. Ensure your answers are accurate and concise, avoiding silly mistakes. Remember the main points provided in this video and stay connected by subscribing to our channel for more DevOps interview questions and answers, including common mistakes to avoid. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on career path, roadmap about software developer, DevOps engineer, cloud computing, career guidance, tech industry insights, and software development tips. Stay connected to learn more. Thanks for watching.